Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the recent the recent price spikes with the Stockholm 2021 sticker capsules and we're also going to be talking about the upcoming tournament. Before we get to that, let's go ahead and take a look at today's sponsor, ShadowPay. ShadowPay is a website for cashing out your CSGO items. They're fast, easy to use, and offer many ways to get real money for your items. If you don't want to wait, you can use their instant sell feature to instantly get money for your items or you can download their safe extension to do a player to player sale. ShadowPay is a clean UI and great reviews, plus you can get a deposit bonus by using my link in the description below. So if you want to go ahead and check them out, be sure to use the link below. So if you've been keeping up with the Stockholm stickers, you've actually probably noticed something really weird. A lot of people were expecting Stockholm to go kind of the same way as RMR because Stockholm obviously had the same pricing model as RMR and had similar stickers in the fact that they look really nice. So a lot of people were expecting overinvestment. However, if you go ahead and check the graphs of the Stockholm sticker capsules, all of them have really actually performed pretty well. Even the Legends capsule with over 255,000 quantity on the Steam community market has actually risen past its original price. A lot of this is probably due to the fact that the Challenger's capsule was actually not as invested into as the other two capsules were. As you can see by the quantity that is listed right here, the Challenger's capsule has an extremely low quantity compared to the other two capsules. My guess is that there was a mass buyout that started for the Challenger's capsule, and as the price started to rise, a lot of people started kind of jumping on that hype and snowballing it to a very low quantity on the Steam community market, comparatively at least, and as a result we're seeing about a three times increase in price. I went ahead and took a few extra days here to go ahead and see how this pans out. So the last part of the video that you just watched was actually a few days before this part of the video where I'm going to go ahead and relook at it and make sure that this wasn't just one big hype swing. And taking a look at the prices, it looks like this actually is a pretty solid thing here. We actually are up to 66 cents on the Challenger's capsules, which means that this is actually going pretty well. The quantity numbers have also decreased a little bit. This is a pretty interesting event for the CSGO market because we've really not had any good investments for quite a long time now and so these capsules increasing as much as they have is actually a pretty nice thing to see. Now when it comes to the foresight of this investments I have an interesting thing to show you. Take a look on screen right now at the word that's in front of you. Now if we just make one slight change to this word Okay, jokes aside, this was actually a pretty difficult thing to foresee because RMR was already a thing and RMR was extremely similar to Stockholm. So with RMR's performance being just so incredibly terrible over time, it was not really hard to assume that Stockholm was probably going to see the same fate. Obviously, some other factor occurred here, and Stockholm actually ended up being a very good choice here. I will admit I didn't have much faith in Stockholm when it was first releasing, but obviously it's done much better than my expectations. I also wanted to give a quick shout out to Ra on Twitter, who actually talked extensively about the investment potential of Stockholm, and he was pretty right. His take on our favorite Greyhound gaming player's stickers is also something that I definitely agree with here. Lots of meme potential in the future. Anyway, back to Stockholm, I do think one thing that really helped the stickers potential here was that they just looked really, really good. Comparatively, to RMR, which were actually pretty solid stickers. The Stockholm stickers were some of the best sticker releases we've seen in the entirety of CSGO's release. The stickers looking as good as they do obviously increases the demand for them because people want to obviously apply them, and so people wanting to open them from capsules is also going to be a pretty big thing here. So with all those factors in mind, it's not hard to see why these had a lot more potential than RMR. And for the sake of the video, let's just open three capsules. We got baited on pretty much all three of these. Anyway, the only other thing there is to talk about with Stockholm is the future potential of them. I do think the Legends capsule is not going to be as good because its quantity is just so vastly higher than the other capsules. It even has higher quantity than a lot of cases. However, the capsule has around 8,000 listings on the Steam community market. That one's definitely one I would watch out for. I think super long term, all of these will do good. And at one point, I do think RMR will also see its time in the sunlight. But for now, I think the majority of the increase at least in the short and medium term, probably already done. These could be a nice little side investment to pick up on. I do definitely think there's potential here. For specific stickers from the Stockholm overall collection, I would definitely keep your eye on the Navi Hollows. I know that the capsule has a huge amount of quantity, but the Navi Hollows just look absolutely fantastic. And you can see that they're actually outperforming their foils. So I think Navi Hollows are definitely one to watch. And as for a more niche pick, I do think Pain Gaming Hollows are actually pretty cool. Those will probably do pretty well, and they have lower quantity on their capsule. The next thing I wanted to talk about in this video is the up coming 2022 major, which is going to start in May, and this one is PGL Antwerp. I'm probably pronouncing that super wrong, so go ahead and correct me in the comments, but that is the next announced major. At the moment, we have basically zero information 
about the major and who's going to be participating in it, but we do know what the logo looks like. And we also know that it's hosted by PGL, who also hosted Stockholm and Krakow. So if they have any say on the sticker designs, maybe we'll get some really good ones like we did in Stockholm. I do think the Chevron design is pretty basic, but they could definitely make some good stickers out of it. I think it's kind of safe to assume they'll use the same pricing models for stickers that they have for the RMR tournaments and for the Stockholm tournaments. I think because we had both of those sticker releases be kind of the same pricing model, it seems like CSGO is definitely leaning more towards that for the future as well. So we'll see if they do return to the sticker model they had in previous years or if they'll stick with a new one, but only time will tell. Another note to make on the Stockholm stickers that that could explain why they did so well is also the fact that there was just a lower player count going into this. There were less people investing in a CSGO because of how bad the market was doing, and with RMR being such a poor investment, I don't think a lot of people were really too hyped to buy into Stockholm. All of that definitely could have contributed to the fact that Stockholm has performed so well. A lot less people investing into it means there's a lot less quantity on the market, and so it's a lot easier to eat up that quantity and send the price higher. So I do think that that is definitely a factor as well. That could also mean that the upcoming tournaments that we have will also have good investment opportunities even if they have the cheaper pricing model, just because less people are interested in investing in general. So for Antwerp 2022, I do think you should take that into account if you're deciding to invest into it or not. Like I said, the tournament starts in, but as May approaches, we'll get more information on the teams and the talent that'll be competing in the tournaments. One other thing to keep in mind here as well is that as tournaments approach, especially major tournaments, roster changes are very likely and also teams just completely disbanding are very likely as well, because as tournaments approach, teams have different financial or visa restrictions that prevent them from competing in tournaments. So keep in mind there could be some opportunities to buy into certain players or certain teams that will potentially disband before the tournament starts. And speaking of player stickers, I do think our friend at Greyhound Gaming is going to be a good option, as the tweet from Ross said earlier in the video. Other than that, nothing too major, pun intended, has happened in the CSGO space or in the investment space. So that's pretty much all the information I have for you. Quick recap. Stockholm stickers have done very well, they've done a lot better than RMR, some of the capsules even seeing a 3x return already, despite the tournament ending not that long ago. Operation Riptide is still available, so if you haven't finished up some of those missions, maybe go and do that right now. It will probably be ending quite soon. So far, Operation Riptide items have been pretty stable, but I do think long term they're going to be great items to hold on to. There's a lot of really cool items there, like the Desert Hydra and the Gold Aberesque. There's also a new major tournament coming up in Belgium that starts in May. It is hosted by PGL, and their logo is a chef so we can expect some sort of a Chevron incorporation into the PGL 2022 stickers. Other than that though, not much is known about the tournament. Also on the topic of Stockholm stickers, I think long term they're still going to do pretty good. Obviously they have pretty low quantity and they look really really nice and I think that the demand is outweighing the supply of them right now. It may slow down going forward, especially when new stickers release, but I think long term they're going to be a solid option to hold on to. Anyway guys, that's about all I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in, thanks for checking out my channel. If you're new here, be sure to click that subscribe button for the best CSGO investment tips anywhere else on YouTube. And if you're returning, thanks for all the support. Once again, wanted to apologize about the upload schedule. I actually had a video that was going to go up earlier, but it kind of got outdated. That's sort of how the cookie crumbles when it comes to making investment content that is kind of time-based, but I'll be working on that going forward. And once again, thanks again, guys. Be sure to check out my Discord, my Twitter, and also ShadowPay using the links in the description below. See you next time. Peace.